Namaste to one and all. Suprabhatam. And uh, we are very happy to welcome you all for this uh, free conference meditation experiential meditation session. And uh, this session is uh, anchored by uh, Srimati Akanksha Damini Joshi ji. I would like to introduce her first. Uh, <clears throat> Akanksha Joshi ji is a meditation facilitator, a writer, storyteller, and an award-winning filmmaker. She pulls in multidimensional experiences from her documentary filmmaking to design meditation sessions. Her filmmaking uh, varieties ranges from uh, social and ecological conflicts to spiritual traditions. Akanksha ji draws her inspiration from the philosophical basis of Natya Shastra, molding it with uh, digital technology to create immersive experience for contemporary seekers. During the pandemic, she has uh, been tapping her skills as a filmmaker into live streaming state-of-the-art meditation sessions online. So more about uh, Akanksha Joshi ji can be known in her website, daminijoshi.in. Thank you, uh, Akanksha Joshi ji, for uh, anchoring this session. Now, uh, I request you to take over. Namaskar. Honored to have been invited for this session. Uh, the pre-conference, let's say, the precursor or um, a meditation to make the ground sacred to make ourselves sacred for this first ever conference on Hindu meditation traditions and techniques. Um, truly honored. Thank you very, very much for this honor. All right, let's begin. <laughs> So, I'd like to begin by requesting your full presence in this virtual Rasasang. The reason why I'm calling it Rasasang is because Raso Vaisaha, Lord Himself, is Rasa. <laughs> so, beginning by requesting you to kindly turn your notifications off and by notifications I don't just mean your notifications in mobile but your notifications in your highly mobile mind kindly just swipe and turn them off and put your mobile mind on an airplane mode to prepare yourself for the ride no seat belts are needed just sit easy and light a super quick Dhyana presence checklist for without your full presence there can be no experience of Dhyana meditation first things first is your body present physically all your senses your eyes, your ears, are you tuned in? Your emails, Facebook, Twitter, newspaper, <laughs> everything off? Second, are your emotions here? 
you really want to be here for this meditation are you ready to invite the sacred is your intention right an intimate check for your emotions and finally is your mind here or are your thoughts still lying in the bed maybe desiring a cup of chai or jumping to the wedding party which is going to happen day after tomorrow or perhaps to the stock market or has your mind slipped into yesterday who said what or who tweeted what <laughs> to whom breathe out a deep relaxing sigh and bring yourself invite your whole self into this virtual rasasang as you invite your body your emotions your mind here and now i will give you a brief outline of how this next hour of your life will flow after all you are investing in this rasamandap your precious life which we all know is uncertain we take your life and time investment your lifetime investment sincerely and we hope you do too <laughs> so an outline of what lies ahead the meditation weave is for the next 1 hour we begin with an orientation of what we are going to do and why we are going to do what we are going to do then we do a little bit of tuning into our bodies breath work and some let's say connecting with our senses and embodiment work then there is a sutra from the non dual shaiva tantra dating some 7th to 8th century vijnana bhairava tantra a sutra called the lotus senses sutra that is what we step into first as an explanation and then as a practice now the question arises why all this why not jump right in why can't we just sit in front of the computer and go into a deep meditative space why this roundabout manner because temple what do i mean by that Hang on for a bit I'll tell you The temple Close your eyes and just listen breathing in before we proceed let's invoke the lords and the gurus blessings making the ground sacred Surya sa 
What you're seeing on your screens are the outskirts of a temple. This temple of the ancients for us moderns to step into this temple we need to prepare to bathe to wear fresh garments but not just at the level of the body. For from the times of our ancients, our bodies too have changed. Post-industrial man is different. Post-digital, soon to be metaverse man is even more different. For example, the connections our ancients had with water is not what we have. They would drink water from the rivers, we not even from the taps. Most pre-industrial, pre-digital, ordinary men and women could sit for hours altogether, alone by themselves in nature. Farming, weaving, fishing, grazing their cows, working with their hands and feet. No one counted the steps they had to walk in a day. No one counted calories. Nature wasn't a luxury trip. Huh? We do. Our world, our circumstances are different. The air, water, soil, the sensory cacophony is all different. Some is good, some is terrible. What we live in is different from what our ancients lived in. Now meditation through diverse approaches is essentially an inward turning of the senses which given the sense cacophony of the digital age never before in the history of humankind ever this way is challenging so what we have chosen for you is a meditation on the senses for these senses meet the most love and relaxation in our times I invite you now to prepare yourself to step into this temple with first placing a hand on your heart, Hridaya Parhat, and relaxing into wherever you are sitting. Watch your body. Ideally, sitting. If with your feet folded on a floor, perfect. If sitting on a chair, perfect too. Just watch your body. Sitting. 
and relaxing into the surface of the earth which is holding it right now breathe into the touch of your body with the earth keep your mouth slightly open exhaling out through the mouth inhaling through the nose and as you exhale out i would strongly recommend taking out a sound why i'm suggesting taking out the sound and why i'm suggesting breathing out has a scientific reason behind it which we will go into in tomorrow's session for now just trust me with it and allow yourself as if you are sighing out all your stress all your challenges for heaven knows what you'll be going through right now whatever it be just allow yourself to be grounded in this body on this earth right now because to take off you need a runway that only earth can give so be grounded in your body and on this earth this moment as you place your hand on your heart this is to remind you of the center of your being hridaya which is actually your consciousness center not the physical heart but the center of your being as you find yourself coming more and more into this moment watch is there a smile coming on your face because without a smile without a relaxed attitude no meditation can ever be done remember meditation is not work it's not a tick mark on a to do list meditation is joy it's ecstasy it's ananda sat chit anand that is what we are working towards see that inner smile spreading over your face lighting up your eyes from inside breathing out allowing that stress to simply dissolve lord is also called hari the one who steals jo harte hain sab dukh dard pareshani all your stress anxiety offer it in the feet of the divine your breath moving out you are offering yourself as you are right now perhaps with tensions perhaps with some stress about tomorrow some pain about yesterday as you are right now offer it in the feet of the divine he accepts it all breathe it out and breathe in 
his blessings. Slowly tuning ourselves now to our body, these senses. Perhaps you have never done this or perhaps you did this a long time ago. No one can see you, so you don't worry, don't feel shy. Allow yourself. Remember the first step to transcend this body, this mind is to first become authentic, to become natural. Something as moderns, we have to learn how to become. So put your hands together and slowly, gently feel your hands, very softly rub your palms together. Feel the sensation of touch very softly as if you are touching a poppy flower. A poppy flower, once you touch it, the petals are so soft that they fall away. So you have to touch it very softly. Allow yourself to touch your hands, your fingers softly. Maybe they are rough, doesn't matter, allow. Remembering to breathe out, to be able to experience Lord as Rasa, you first need to be able to experience this body which the Lord has gifted you. Take this touch and softly touch your face. Experience that touch from within. Putting a hand over your forehead. Touch your forehead. Breathing out. Touching the top of your head as if you are blessing yourself. Slowly take any finger and where we put the bindi, the center of your forehead, make round circle very gently rest it there and relax into your breath. We are now ready to step into an understanding of the Sutra the meditation offered to us by the Rishis.
सनातन परंपरा The collective Sanatan Parampara has an incredibly diverse richness of tools and techniques for all personality types. The meditation that we've chosen for you is relying on bhavana creative contemplation where the mind is directed with awareness the roots of the word bhavana in sanskrit is bhu it means to become or to be we use thought to go to a space of no thought imagination creative imagination is used to transcend the mind the limitations of the mind This meditation is from Advait Shaivagam 9th or 8th century text from Kashmir Vijnan Bhairav Tantra It says In this Shiva is giving meditations to Devi One of the meditations which he offers to her is this He says Rid Hridaya Kashi Neeli Nakshah पद्म संपुट मध्य गह अनन्य चेता सुभगे परम सौभाग्यम आपनुयात ओ ब्लेसेड वन if one merges one senses in the space of the heart in the center between the two halves of the heart lotus with an undistracted mind then o blessed one one attains supreme blessedness param saubhagyam आपनुयात When the senses are turned inwards the sense processor that is the mind moves into silence the five senses touch smell taste sight sound when the mind relaxes our limitations relax from personality we can dive into universality tantra is an offering of expansion your heart opening like a lotus 
the imagery here is of two lotus one on top of the other the space in the center is the hridaya kash the space of the heart we are going to play with this imagery in the practice just keep this in your mind keep this in your heart the image of two upturned lotuses as we proceed there is a deep philosophical understanding behind that which we don't have time to go into in the practice perhaps some other time now an invitation for the practice remaining with your breath grounded as we step into a time that really is sanatan a time that is timeless you can use the imagery you are seeing on the screens to deepen your experience or later you can close your eyes and allow this to stay within i will be guiding you as we go along allow yourself shiv says to devi devi shuru devi listen for listening is always feminine the ears don't give out they receive allow yourself to be in that space of feminine receptivity any time you feel your mind wandering breathe out pull yourself back into this moment once upon a timeless devi feeling compassionate towards us decided to play a game devi went to shiva and said lord i feel very anxious these days my mind is so distracted i'm worried about ganesh gosh he seems to have put on a lot of weight i'm worried about kartikeya he's always traveling around and nandi he's always resting of so much of mental anxiety lord shiva understood her play understood the leela that shakti was creating 
he smiled asked the goddess to sit next to him she placed her head on his shoulder and the lord said o subhage o blessed one ऋत्याकाशे नीलिनाक्ष पद्मसंपुट मध्यग अनन्यचेता सुभगे परम सौभाग्यम आपनुयात् ओ ब्लेसिड वन इफ one merges one senses in the space of the heart in the center between the two halves of the heart lotus ananya chetaha with an undistracted mind then subhage blessed one one attain supreme blessedness param sobhagya when our senses are moving out into the world they are called indriya when they turn inwards and they rest they are called karaneshwari devi invoking the divinity of the senses becoming aware of the sense of touch wherever you are seated or if your hand is on your heart become aware of the touch between your hand and your heart using your breath allow this sense of touch sparsh to move into the space between the two lotus use your breath guide your breath into your heart you can keep your mouth open and breathe out
taking the sense of touch into the space between your heart lotus invoking its divinity and inviting it to rest in the heart space becoming conscious of your breathing breath coming in near the nostril awareness of the nostril the nose conscious of the sense of smell gand using your breath to become conscious and using the breath as a medium to take this sense into the space of the heart between the two lotus now to your tongue jiva puri chetna jiva par si how the tongue is touching the palate the saliva on the tongue perhaps a little movement of the tongue use your breath and now invite the divinity of ras taste to emerge inviting this sense 
rasa to move into the space of the heart between the two lotus each of the senses are now emerging in their divine devi swarup inviting through the eyes becoming conscious of the energy which is around your eyes dancing in your pupils breathing into your eyes connecting with this energy connecting with this indri and inviting her to reveal her divine form आमंत्रण इंद्री को अपने दिव्य स्वरूप में विश्राम करने का using your breath to guide roop into the space between the two lotuses of your heart विश्रांति डीप शांति रिलैक्सेशन ऑफ द साइट रूप finally inviting shabd near your ears sense that space karanendri आपके कान के पास सेंस दैट
allow Shabd The sense of hearing to rest in her divinity into the space of the heart the space between two lotus comfortable silent using your breath to guide the sound to rest into your heart Subhaki Blessed One Allow Allow the state of Param Sabhakya Supreme Blessedness in the resting of the senses in the warm heart space each of the senses now not just indriya but devi herself Feel the blessedness through this divinization of the senses. Breathe the Sabhakya, Param Sabhakya, O Blessed Ones.
ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमिदम पूर्णात् पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओम शांति 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 विथ दिस नाउ वी आर रेडी टू स्टेप इन टू दिस फर्स्ट एवर कॉन्फ्रेंस on hindu meditation traditions and techniques i invite the blessed indica team to please take over pranam namaste akanksha ji Thank you. Thank you very much for a meditative introduction, a meditative beginning uh, to uh, this conference on Hindu meditation traditions and techniques. Just like the eight limbs of yoga, all the limbs of uh, yoga and also all the limbs of multimedia were used <laughs> in your wonderful session to give an experiential, immersive. ध्यान प्रैक्टिस ग्रैटिट्यूड टू यू सिंसियर ग्रैटिट्यूड वी लुक फॉरवर्ड टू यूर सेशन टुमारो आल्सो यस थैंक यू फॉर वट बीइंग देयर ऑल द फ्रेंड्स हु हैव बीन मेडिटेटिंग इफ यू वांट टू मूव इनटू साइलेंस यू कुड डू दैट दिस सेशन कुड एक्चुअली इजीली कैरी ऑन फॉर अनदर हाफ एन आवर बट देयर आर अदर थिंग्स टू डू I hope to be seeing you tomorrow for another session from another one of the amazing richness that Sanatan tradition has. <laughs>